What's up, Inara Talks? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're back playing on X Life, and today we're gonna go find the Earth mobs. Now, for those of you that play Minecraft Earth, you'll know that there are some, like, you know, other mobs that are really cute, like the Moo Bloom and the Cluck Shroom and the Muddy Pigs, and we have a mod that adds those into our game. So, for today's video, we're going on an adventure to find the mobs. Before we go on an adventure away from our safe home, um, I need some better armor. I'm still rocking an iron helmet and iron boots. But guess what? I found some more obsidian. So let's grab the obsidian that I have and let's craft some boots and a helmet. Oh, look at me! I finally covered an obsidian! But I would like to enchant it a little bit, you know, just, just to be extra safe. So let me just grab my enchanting table. We'll grab our bookshelves. And I'm gonna temporarily make a little enchanting area in my backyard. Okay, so let's see what we can put on my helmet. This will give us aqua affinity. We could get feather falling on my boots. That's pretty good, actually. We can get unbreaking on my chest plate and unbreaking on my pants. I think we should definitely start with the feather falling. Uh, that is a must. But now I don't have enough levels to enchant anything else. I should have thought about this beforehand. <laughs> Do I have anything good from fishing that I can put on my stuff? We have blast protection and projectile protection. How much will it cost if I put blast protection on my chest plate? Oh, this only costs eight. Okay. And now uh, what if we put projectile protection on my pants? Oh, 35? Excuse me? Uh, that's a little bit too expensive. No, thank you. Okay, well, I guess uh, we're set with the two enchanted pieces that we have. And now to start our adventure, we need to make a nature's compass and some warp scrolls. These warp scrolls are pretty cool because they let you teleport to anybody's waystone for free. You don't have to use your enchantment levels. It's beautiful. And you only need paper and dye to make it. So we have eight warp scrolls now. Now to make a nature's compass, we first need to make a regular compass. Then we put the compass in the middle and surrounded by wooden saplings. Since we're traveling away from our house to find some animals, we obviously need something to keep them in. And luckily, I had enough materials to make a bunch of these ender farmer leads. After we find the moo blooms and collect shrooms, then we can make the muddy pigs. Yes, I said make because you can't actually find muddy pigs. They don't spawn naturally. To get muddy pigs, a regular pig just has to swim in mud. Now that we have all this stuff, I, uh... I guess it's time to leave the comfort of our home. First location on our list is gonna be the swamp. Apparently it's only 640 blocks away. Oh, hopefully there's mud there. So according to the compass, we just keep heading west and we'll find a swamp. <gasps> hey, there's a turtle here. Oh, there's a bunch of turtles. Oh, we have to come back and get them. They actually look a little bit different than the baby turtles. Maybe those are tortoises. Ah! Are you okay? You got red eyes. You look creepy, but you're not attacking me. Okay. While we're in the desert, I feel like we should grab some cacti because you know, why not? There's an exposed lava monster. Do not, I do not like you. <gasps> There's alligators over there. Okay, why is this, why is this dangerous? Stop. Things are starting to feel a little swampy around here. Please, please don't let there be anything bad. Ooh, wait, can I have these purple flowers? These give us dye. I'm gonna take some of these. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Why do those pigs look like that? They kind of, oh, they look possessed. They, those are demon pigs. Those are, yep, those are demon pigs. <gasps> Alligator! <laughs> look at him, he's taunting me. It's getting dark out, so we are going to make it night and then day. Woo, good morning. Hold on, wait a minute. I have a bow with infinity on it. Ahem. Die. Ha! Stupid! Die. Yes! Alright, we're looking for mud and then we're going home. <gasps> mud! Let's just scoop some of this up. Uh-oh. The first part of our adventure is a success! Now we just need to find the cows and chickens. Now the moo blooms only spawn in flower forests and the collect shrooms only spawn on the mushroom island. So let's start our next search for the flower forest. Oh. 2,769 blocks away, huh? <laughs> Great. Actually, wait a minute. Both Flip and Scott are on the server right now, and they also both have flying carpets. 
That would really help me out. Um, I'm wondering if I could get them to let me borrow it for a few minutes. Guys, the flip gave me his flying carpet. Look, 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 look. This is so cute. But I'm just borrowing it. He said that if I bring him back a clux room, then we're even. But first, we're going to the flower forest. This is the most amazing thing. Oh, I need to make a carpet so bad. I want my own. What? How am I at the world border? I know there's a flower forest within the radius of our world. What the heck? Okay, I have flown across the server and we're gonna try this search again. No way. I'm 500 blocks away. And the, 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 the wall. Are those zombie horses? What the heck happened there? Oh my god. Another flower forest biome. And there is a demon in the lava. What the heck? <gasps> it's the moo bloom. <gasps> you are so beautiful. Oh my god. Why is it attacking me? Something hurt me and I'm scared. Go in my lead. <gasps> okay. I have no idea what happened, but uh, I'm going home. We're back home. So far, we have buckets of mud and a moo bloom. And now we just gotta go find some chickens. Let's start the search for the mushroom fields. Why do I feel like this compass is lying to me? There's no way I'm actually this close to a mushroom biome. <gasps> what the heck? It is close by. Oh, this area is so cute. Oh my God, the clock shrooms. Ah! I'll take you and I'll take you. And I'll take you. What is that thing? Is that like a little seal? Um, hello, friend. Who is you? <laughs> oh, no. I can't grab my psyllium because I don't have silk touch. That's sad. I really want to bring some of this home with me. Well, at least this is not too far from my house. And whenever I get silk touch, I can come back and get some mycelium. Well, now that we have our chickens, I guess we should go home and give Flip his carpet back. <laughs> Hello! Thank you for letting Hi. me borrow your carpet. No problem. This is for you. And here is your chicken. Yeah, now you have your very own click room. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. You're welcome. All right, guys, so that was a pretty successful adventure. We got our bloom shroom cow, we got our cluck shroom chickens, and we found the mud for our muddy pigs. Speaking of mud, uh, I just realized I actually don't have any pigs. <laughs> Hold on. Come here, friendo, you're mine. Thank you. It's been a little bit, and guess what? A wandering trader came by my place, and I was able to buy three wither skeleton skulls and a beacon. Granted, now I don't have any more emeralds, but <laughs> it's okay. Also, you may have noticed in this chest, we have an animation bottle. And this is what we can use to make flying carpets and magic broomsticks. Now, I was looking at the crafting recipes for these things, and, um, well, the broomstick is a little bit easier to make. So we're gonna make that. Oh my gosh, look at this. <gasps> we have a magic broomstick, but it's kind of gross. We shall turn this broomstick blue. That is so cute. Oh my God. And guys, you know what else happened while I was gone? This pick now has silk touch. I've got a silk touch pick. I've got a magic broomstick. And now we can go back to the mushroom island and collect some mycelium and mushrooms. <gasps> I'm a wizard. Oh my god. This is so cute. I actually kind of like this better than the carpet. Not that the carpets aren't cute. Um, they just require soul sand and I don't feel like going to the nether. So now that I pretty much have everything that I need, we can start working on the animal houses. I want to put the houses right around here. Obviously, I need to fill in this area, but I just think this is a really cute spot. So, uh, yeah, let's start building.
Um, excuse me? Could you please leave? Hold on. We're on a mission. We're on a mission. It's not safe. That's right. Perish. Now that the creeper is gone, guys, look at this area. It's so pretty. So starting from my bridge, we have this path now that leads to the yellow house over here, which is for my yellow cow. Then over here, we have a red house for the chickens. And over here, we have a pink house for the pigs. Now around each house, I decided to add some things that, you know, kind of went with the animal that was living in it. So next to the pink pig house, I made some really big tulip flowers because when pigs turn into muddy pigs, they get tulips on their heads. I added some yellow flowers by the yellow house because the bloom shroom cow actually plants little buttercup flowers wherever it walks. And of course, by the little cluck shroom chicken house, I added some mushrooms. Now, as you guys saw from the time-lapse video, Flip helped me landscape this area a little bit because before that, it was a, it, it was, it was a bit plain. But then when Flip came over, he helped me add in this little rocky edge, this cool rock over here. We have some nice bushes. We have a little pond right here. And he also helped me landscape this area with the rocks. Oh, and something that I didn't show on camera was all the spruce trees that I planted. So if we fly out here and we turn around, you'll see that I added quite a bit of trees. I meant to add the spruce trees when I was first doing my outdoor landscaping, but um, <laughs> I forgot. I just think they look really nice in a mountain biome. So now that this area looks super cute, um, the only thing that I'm noticing is at night it's very dark. So we have to light it up a bit. Now, unfortunately, I ran out of string, so I can't make any more fairy lights right now, but I do have lanterns. So we can just add some of these to the front of every house. And we can also add them inside. Then just to keep this area lit during the night, let's just hide one back here. We can have one hanging in the mushroom. And we can put one behind the flower. This looks pretty good. It's still not enough light. Eventually what I would like to do is put some in the ground and like maybe put some carpet over it to kind of camouflage the light blocks, but this will do for now. Now, since the pigs are gonna need a place to get muddy, I was thinking maybe we could just break this part of the house and we can just add a fence to give them more space for their mud. Okay, so here is our little fence in area for our pigs. Now, if we go inside this way, you'll see that they have plenty of room for mud now. Let's go ahead and turn our pigs into muddy pigs. Oh, look at your cute little flower. Oh my gosh, you're so cute. Oh, you have a pink flower on your head. Oh my gosh, adorable. Now let's add our cow. Oh, hi friend, you are so beautiful. You match your house perfectly too. But now that we have our cow, let's go over here and add our chickens. Oh my gosh, these mobs are literally adorable. I'm obsessed. Guys, let me know in the comments which one of these earth mobs is your favorite. Also, please let me know in the comments what I should name them because they need names. Also, my cat needs a name too. If you have any name suggestions for any of the animals that I have, leave them in the comments and we can add them in the next episode. Okay, well, now that all the earth mobs are in their cute new houses, I think that's gonna be it for today's video, guys. If you liked it, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you next time. Bye!